our whole company premise was to bring manufacturing back to the United States and be competitive. We started looking at things that we could automate simple and inexpensive and so we started doing some research on you know is there low-cost automation out there um, and then we came across the universal robot. Once it actually hit the floor we got it unboxed and we found a stand for it and I think within 45 minutes we had it up powered and were actually programming the robot just doing simple back and forth and pick and place. Well, one of the first jobs we looked at was a, a job that we were producing about 400 items of a, of a particular valve and we knew a new order was coming in for another 700 of those valves um, and it was a monthly order and we took a look at our capacity on the particular machine it was machining at. Without the robot we would have been forced to buy another machine even if we put a third shift on. Um, after calculating the higher run rate using the robot we realized we wouldn't have to buy another machine and we even opened up another 30% capacity on the, on the existing machine. So in that particular case, the ROI would have been very quick, a matter of, of, of months. But we also then looked and said, well, where else can this robot go? So we looked at other smaller jobs and that's what we were striving for the whole time was to find a robot that was flexible, that could be moved quickly and programmed quickly and taken from machine to machine. Um, and so that's what we're utilizing it now for. And we, we estimate the ROI was about six months uh, at its current configuration. Honestly, if you can, if you can write a to-do list, you can program the robot. It's just simple down, just from top down logic. And it's, it's fairly simple to do. The most beneficial part of the robot is actually the interface controls. So you're actually right there with the robot and you're troubleshooting as you go. So it takes out a lot of time other than me having to come inside the office, run simulations of my programs, take it back out, boot it up, see real time what it's going to look like. You can actually do that from the handhelds. When we do set up that first job, we'll do countersunk holes uh, that will end up capping. So if it moves to another job and then comes back, it's simply just taking the caps out, remounting the, the robot arm itself. Usually it's gonna take us about 30 minutes to get it back in the ground and, and powered up. And then it, after that, it's just as simple as loading that, the previous project. We had a run of 1,500 parts uh, to bend and we do this on a, about every two to three months basis. Uh, so we decided to put the robot on the bender. Um, the job usually would take three days to do. The robot did it in four hours. The robot it's, itself was a lot faster than, than I expected. Within the 45 minutes that we booted up the robot for the first time, we were testing safeties on it. So we had it uh, using various accelerations and joint speeds. We had it running up against people's hands, just a firm, or a firm stop in the robot, just to test it, to see how much force would actually, it would actually take to fail out the robot, which was really surprising for us because it's, the robot's very sensitive to outside force. So we really like that because it's one thing, again, to say that the robot can be used without guarding, but it's another to use it safely without guarding. Well, so far we're looking for it to do simple jobs, simple tasks um, that then we can take our current employees and continue to educate them to become the programmer of the robot and or moving up doing quality control inspections of the parts coming off the machine that the robot's working on. Educate them more to become programming the CNC machines um, instead of just being machine operators. Most employees were like, oh, we're getting replaced by robots. And then when it came in and we set it up, they're like, oh, are we losing our jobs to robots? and we brought them over and showed them how easy it was to use the universal robot and what eventually they'll be doing with it and they'll actually be teaching the robot to load and unload and now they've all embraced it and they're all excited to be the first guy that gets to start programming the robot. <laughs>